Hi, my name is Gary Piccarello. I've been estimating drywall for the past 40 years. I put this video together for drywall contractors. I want to show you that PlanSwift is the number one construction takeoff and estimating software for drywall contractors. I partnered up with PlanSwift three years ago and I wrote the plug-in for the drywall. I know what drywall contractors need and there isn't an estimating software on the market that can do what this program does for the money. You can purchase PlanSwift for $950. And this program, because of what I've done with it, will do more than the eight and 10,000 programs will do for drywall contractors. PlanSwift is giving you a 14-day free trial. You download this program and use it for two weeks for free. Once you download the program, you go to the plugin store and you download the drywall plugin. This is the plugin that I created for PlanSwift for drywall contractors. And I'm asking $699 for this program. So with uh, $950 and $699, you have a program that's $1,649, and you won't be able to beat that price for the program anywhere else. Here's my website. All you need to do is go to PicarellaBrothers.com. On the home page, scroll down to this link, Plan Swift. Click on this Plan Swift link. It'll take you to this application. Fill this out. Continue to the next step. Complete this. Send this to me. And download your free trial for 14 days. And I'll contact you a couple of days after that and set up a go-to meeting with you for an hour and show you how the program works. But after you get done watching this video, you're going to have a really good idea of what this program can do for the drywall contractor. Now let's take a look at PlanSwift. I've got a single family home here and I'm going to do a takeoff and show you how the program works. Okay, once you download PlanSwift, this is what it's going to look like and you're going to have a sample plan here. Let's go to click on new and you want to put the job name here and we're just going to I'm going to do this Bell Residence. And you want to put the builder's name over here. We'll put William Construction in here. And then we're going to click Next. And we're going to say our bid date due date is going to be June 1st, 2011. Our primary estimator, I'll say myself. The status of this estimate started. All of these screens can be customized to whatever you want them to say. You can add terms and conditions, any special requirements, general notes. And then we'll click next. And your contact information you want to put in here who you're estimating the job for. We'll just put William, and we'll put William's email address, and you put his phone number, put the project address, the city, the state, and the zip code. Click Next. Here's where you're going to put your markups. 
You want to put a markup on your material, 10%. Your labor, equipment, subcontract, if you want to put 10% on that. And if you have material burdens, you can put percentages down here. And your overhead, <clears throat> let's put 10% for material and 10% for subcontract. And click Next. Add material tax. If you want to put tax, you put your tax right here. This will add to all the material you drop in. Just make sure that this check mark here is marked, is checked. This box, you check it if you want the 6.5% tax applied to it. If you don't, on equipment, you take the check mark out of the box. Calculate takeoff costs, check that. And calculate assembly costs, you could check that. I have used uh, use wage rates. If you have special wage rates you want to put in there, we can use open shop or union shop. And if you want to add a, a fuel stipend for your labor, you just put a check mark in that box and click next. And then let's browse for our plans. See here, let's go to uh, okay. Just go to your your hard drive where your plans are downloaded, and just look for the plan you want to upload to the site. We're going to do this Bell Residence. Click OK and check all the pages you want to download and click next this page here you can change the dpi for the tiff files you can make this 300 or 200 whatever you want depending on how bad the plans are Let's, we're just going to keep 200 as it's good you can see it real good we'll click finish and we'll download these plans Okay, the plans are downloaded, and they're over here on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, now let me show you how we're going to rename the plans. We'll click on this first play page here. This page tab we'll go to. We're going to batch rename pages. Click on this, and it's going to show you down here the page number, and we're going to put A O and we're going to um, type in title page. All right, and we'll save that and click next. And this one's going to be A3 and this first floor plan. All right, save and next. A4, second floor plan. Save next. This one will be A6, elevations. Save next. A7, sections. And that's it. And that's as easy as changing the name of the plans, um, the pages. You name your pages here. All right. Now we're going to look at the first floor plan. And let's scale this plan. So what I'm going to do you can scale it by just putting in the the scale, hit your home tab, and you can do the scale two ways. You can just say it's an eighth inch um, per foot or a quarter inch or whatever it is, or you can actually measure it, which I like to do because we don't know what happens to these prints when they email the PDF file to us. So I'm going to say this 26 feet right across here. If I put 26 feet in there, and then I tell it from here to here it's 26 feet. 
then it's going to make make it more accurate. I trust that more. Let's find one going the other way. 28 foot 4. So I'm going to put 28 foot 4 inches. Click OK. And I'm going to highlight that right there to here. Okay, now my um, plan is scaled. Okay, now to the right hand side over here is the drywall plug-in. And these are your parts. There's over 1,700 parts that you would need for the drywall industry. Possibly everything you, the architect would ask for I have in the database. Over here, let's click on this furring, drywall, and rigid board insulation. Let's just say that that's what this exterior wall is going to be here. So <clears throat> I'm going to right click These are linear templates over here. So if I use the furring drywall rigid board insulation and I click on this green button, this form window is going to open up. And I'm going to put in here in the name exterior wall. And I'm going to put the first floor folder. That'd be the folder I'll put it in. I'm going to. You can change the color of the wall to whatever you want. The description will automatically be filled in as you pick your parts. So up here, I have these tab furring. Well, let's look at our furring. As uh, our wall height default is 10 feet. You can just change that to whatever height the wall needs to be in these drop-down windows. The furring height is going to be 10 feet. The lumber I'm going to use is going to be a 1 by 2 pressure treated, or you can pick whatever that the plan calls for in the drop-down window. Since our furring, our wall is 10 foot high, our 1 by, let's use an 8 foot 1 by. So we have 12 inches off the floor and 12 inches off the ceiling. And on center furring, we'll stick with 16 inches on center. And these are all just defaults. You can put anything you want in there. Inch and a half coil nails. We'll go with that. And we'll put the coil nails eight inches on center. And our labor for the wood furring is here. Now insulation. Let's say our rigid board insulation is going to go up ten feet high. And we're going to use three quarter inch rigid board. Or what else you need, you just look in the database. The rigid board square foot, it's a 4 by 8 sheet, so it'll be 32 square feet. And here's our rigid board labor. Let's pick the subcontract, drywall. Here's where we'll pick up the drywall through the database, whatever drywall you need. We'll just stick with the default of half-inch regular. We're going to put it on one side since it's an exterior wall. The board size we'll use a 4 by 12. <clears throat> and we'll use a 1 and 8 inch fine thread screw. Our joint compound by the bucket or the box, we'll use the bucket. And we pick our roll of tape, a 500 foot roll or 250 foot roll. Here's our hanging subcontract and our finishing subcontract. And if you wanted to change the prices, you could change the prices for the material or the labor here on the fly. And this would only change the prices for this one wall that we're about to take off. And then click OK and digitize the exterior wall.
This is a block wall inside the house. I'm just going to go around it like that. Click OK. Um, hit your escape button, and then let's click back on that to go down this block wall here. Click Escape. Okay. At this point, we just digitized all the block wall for this house. And the ceiling height is 9 foot 6. So I put 10 foot. Over here on the right hand side, you click on the wall that we just did a takeoff on, and it shows all the material that's needed for that wall. Here's your 1 by 2 pressure treated, 268 pieces, your wood furring labor, your coil nails, your rigid board insulation labor, your 3 quarter inch tough R insulation your drywall, your screws, your tape, your mud, your hanging and finishing. If you needed to change anything, you could change it from this window right here. If you wanted to change the size of your lumber, just click here and change it to a 1x3. And it'll change all the 1x2 to a 1x3. If you need to change the drywall from half inch to five eighths. Just click here and um, change it to five eighths. It's your fire code. Say FC. It's your five eighths fire code. So you can make any changes right here in this window, and all of your material drops in right there. Okay, now let's look at an interior wall. Close this template here. We'll open up the segment template and we'll take off framing and drywall. We'll use this template here. Let's put interior walls. You can change the color to whatever you'd like. Put it in the folder you want it. It's the first floor. Click on the framing. Say the wall height is 9 foot 6, but I'm going to use a 10 foot stud. So my wall height is going to be 10 foot. My track, I'm going to use a default track here. Otherwise, you could pick whatever track you want. The number of runs of track, top and bottom track. The track length. Pick your track nails how far apart you want those nails, pick your framing screws, pick your studs, the length of the stud, the studs on center spacing, and your layout labor, and your framing labor. Pick your drywall, we use half inch regular. I'm just going to use the default so that I don't have an hour video here. How many sides of the wall? We'll put two sides on this on the interior walls. We'll use a four by uh, let's use four by ten sheets. You can change and use whatever size sheet you want. Pick your screws for the drywall. Joint compound. If you use boxes, pick boxes. If you use buckets, you got buckets. Pick your rolls of tape, and here's your labor for the hanging and the finishing. And here again, you can change the prices on the fly for just this wall. Otherwise, it will use the prices in the database. Click OK and digitize the walls.
and just go through and digitize all the walls, same type of walls. If there were uh, six inch walls in here, that would be a, just a different wall. But I would catch all of the same wall types and just digitize them all at once. Okay, hit escape, and then that's it. You're done digitizing the walls. Same thing, all your materials over here on the right-hand side. Got to make any changes, you can make it from right here in this window. Okay, next we're going to do the ceiling. Here's our templates for the area takeoff. So we'll do drywall for ceiling. And I have drywall with high hat or resilient channel or drywall with insulation. But it's the same difference for the sake of time. I'm just going to use the drywall takeoff for the ceiling. And um, we'll just leave that name, drywall for ceiling. We'll pick the drywall. The default is 5 8 type X. You change that to whatever you want. One side, 4 by 12 board, drywall screws, tape, mud. That's it. Click OK. Digitize the ceiling. There's not a faster, easier way to do a takeoff than with Plan Swift and the drywall plugin. Okay. Now you can highlight this and see populate the windows over here with the material that you have. And that's it, as simple as that. I put together this program so it's very easy and simple to use. You can go over to your estimating tab and you can click on that. Expand the first floor folder. And here's our three walls we just did our takeoff on. The first wall is $3,427.78 is what it'll cost labor and material. The second wall is $2,916. And the ceiling is $1,120. You can expand these folders and take a look and see all the material that was dropped in. Since this video is almost 20 minutes long, I'm just going to conclude this video now and make this part one. on how to use Plan Swift in the drywall plugin. Now I'll make part two. And that concludes this video.